Stored fuel is a big investment for many companies. Fuel storage tanks have lots of places where they can harbor problems that can reduce stored fuel quality. All fuel tanks will collect water in them over time. Because water is heavier than fuel, it forms a layer below the layer of fuel. The point where the two layers meet, called the interface, is where microbes in the fuel will grow and multiply. For underground tanks, many times there can be a significant water collection, as much as five gallons, in the catch basin along the lid, which can spill into the tank when opened. Any stored on-road gasoline is going to contain ethanol. Ethanol attracts water and runs the risk of phase separation when too much water is absorbed, causing the ethanol to separate and drop out. This strips octane value from the gasoline and leaves you with a layer of poor gas on top and ethanol plus water on the bottom, neither of which burns very well in an engine. Many fuel tanks with micro problems will have their surfaces covered with biomass, a matrix secretion produced over time by colonies of bacteria and fungus in the tank. This biomass can plug filters and provide a shield of dormant microbes to protect them from things like biocides in the fuel. Storage tank walls play roles in water collection and harboring biomass. All storage tanks collect water from simple changes in the air temperature. The tank wall provides the surface for the water to condense and roll off down into the fuel. The tank walls are also excellent places for sticky biomass to accumulate, harboring dormant bacteria that can reinfect fuel tanks at any time. Corrosion is a big problem for fuel storage tanks, and the causes can range from the water attracted and absorbed by ethanol gas blends to the acids excreted by microbes in the fuel that corrode tank parts over time. Fuel lines can be a focal point for the collection of problems like corrosion, tank sludge, and microbial growth. The fuel exits the tank through the lines and carries the tank trash with it. Excessive filter plugging and changing is a sure sign of a problem like microbial growth in the fuel tank. The caps and lids for a storage tank are an important, but many times overlooked part of keeping water and contaminants out of the fuel inside. You'd be surprised how often someone leaves the lid off a tank, exposing its contents to rain and the elements. You also want to pay attention to the health of the seal and O-rings around the edge of the lid. If these crack or harden over time, they can allow water to drip into the storage tank or prevent water from entering the spill bucket. Making sure you keep water accumulation and microbial growth under control will be your best bet to protecting storage tanks from corrosion over the long haul. Go to bellperformance.com for more information on keeping your stored fuel in top condition.